CNN Primetime begins right now. Hey, good evening, everybody. Campbell Brown is off tonight. I'm John Roberts. We have got new developments, brand new developments in the Times Square terror investigation. Three people are in custody tonight after FBI raids across the Northeast. Another one in Pakistan now. Investigators are following the money, a trail that they believe could lead from midtown Manhattan all the way to Pakistan. So are cash couriers, hawalas, the key to unraveling this plot? Another story that we have been following, the uproar at a California high school when students got in trouble for wearing American flag clothing on Cinco de Mayo. It started there, but it's grown into a much bigger and heated debate about free speech, patriotism, and what the flag means in America today. Also ahead, a very provocative question. Should women be running Wall Street? The two big to fail firms were all run, and some might say run into the ground by men. But here's the interesting thing. It's women who are now in charge of cleaning up the economic mess on Wall Street, chairing the FDIC, the SEC, and overseeing the TARP fund. Does Wall Street need to trade testosterone for estrogen? And later on, we've got an incredible story of courage and new beginnings for you. A turning now to an inspirational new documentary by award-winning filmmaker Stephen Barber. Unbeaten tells the story of a brutal road race that's been called the toughest in the world. All the more impressive when you find out that the competitors are paraplegics in wheelchairs and hand cycles. The movie was taken to Walter Reed Army Medical Center and screened last night for some of the military's wounded warriors recovering from devastating injuries in Iraq and Afghanistan. Did they find inspiration? Take a look. I got uh, involved in a hit and run motorcycle accident, left me paralyzed from the waist down and uh, essentially went through the whole life cycle of depression, uh, dark areas, uh, really sort of lost hope for life at that point. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, made a decision, you know, it's either going to be sink or swim, Oz, sink or swim, Paralympic gold medalist, Oz Sanchez. My issue is I had a broken neck, broken back, broken pelvis, this leg was broken and they had amputated the right leg. Christopher Blauvelt. Um, in the Connecticut Army National Guard and uh, Merritt Walter Reed uh, receiving some treatment for some injuries I received in an IED over in Afghanistan recently. The, the race that the uh, documentary depicts is a stage race through Alaska, Fairbanks to Alaska, 267 miles over, over six days. You're averaging 50 miles a day through some gnarly terrain. It's not your typical day. It's not the ideal, um, you know, let's go through the 5K of a weekend warrior style. But nevertheless, the concept, the underlying concept is still there. And that is the recovery and, you know, both psychologically and physically through sports and athleticism. Oh, it was awesome. I didn't realize they had something like that going on in Alaska. And I didn't realize the guys traveled so fast in the chairs either. It was amazing. One slogan I live by, that's no, no limits. I have a tattoo to my chest. That's my motto. And that sort of gets redefined and gets a deeper meaning and how could it, it, it could benefit others uh, every time I'm out in a race. My real intent and goal here is just essentially to convey the, the power of the human spirit and, and, and recovery through sports and athleticism. I'm not very confident in myself right now because I don't know where, I, where my injuries are going to lead me. But, uh, yeah, it sounds, you know, I would definitely love something like doing crew or something. No way I would do the, the cycling, not with guys like Oz out there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that was insane. Life is not over. You know, yeah, you suffered a catastrophic injury through an IED blast or whatever sort of uh, different injury you sustained while in the uh, campaign in the Middle East. Um, but there's still plenty of hope. There's still plenty of opportunities. And I feel great, so just ready to start walking. Nobody can tell you what you can dream of, you know. Only you can sort of uh, dictate that. Hope is all up here, and disability, most of the time I find, is also up here. Self-induced disability, so at the end of the day, you keep hope alive and, you know, you know, the world is your oyster, no doubt. Stephen Barber is the award-winning filmmaker who made Unbeaten. He joins us with one of the wounded warriors who watched the movie last night at Walter Reed, Private First Class Wade Christensen. They join me now from Washington. Stephen, let's start with you. Why did you want to bring this documentary to Walter Reed Army Medical Center? Uh, it, there was no other place to really, that was my core audience. I mean, these were the men that just came back from the field that may be feeling, and are feeling, you know, hopeless. And this movie lets, because everyone in my film has, has been there. They've, they've, they've had these horrible, horrific accidents. They've been shot. They've, they've been hit in the back with, fork, with forklifts. I mean, the story is one guy fell out of a tree bear hunting, and they've been through it. So mm -hmm. it shows somebody who's just back from the field that, yeah, your life isn't over. It's just yeah. beginning. And, and, Wade, you certainly went through your share of trauma. You were in Afghanistan back in January. Uh, you had a patrol out. Six bombs hidden in a wall went off. What were the extent of your injuries? 
Uh, I suffered a complete loss of vision in my left eye, uh, a fractured jaw, uh, five fractured teeth, and uh, just shrapnel, shrapnel peppering on my, my left side. Right. Has it been a long road back for you? Uh, yeah, it has, but it, you know, it's been going really well. So, and, when you, uh, so when you watched the movie last night, and you saw people like Oz Sanchez, who's got you know, that you know, slogan tattooed on his chest there, no, no limits. Did you draw inspiration from that? Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, the, the movie was definitely a great inspiration for people like me. It's just, uh, you know, it shows you to never quit, you know, and yeah. never give up on what you want, and I disability's not going mean, to set what you do, back. What, what does it say to you? Does it say, I mean, when you look at these guys and they do this 260-mile race over six days through the mountains of Alaska, does it say to you, hey, you know, maybe I can come back from this. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, it just, it shows you that, you know, anything's possible. Even if you have a disability, you know, it's, it's definitely not the end of the road. Hey, Stephen, what, what kind of similarities have you found between these wheelchair athletes and the wounded warriors that you met at Walter Reed? You know, the similarities are, are stark and, and amazing. I mean, they don't give up. We walk, I had a tour of Walter Reed yesterday and saw some of these, these guys. We went to the rehab. I got to see part of the Walter Reed that most people don't get to see. And most of these guys want to go back to their unit. I mean, the, I mean the, they don't let it stop them. So a movie like this, I mean, it doesn't, if you got shot in the field or you, you lost your legs, it doesn't matter how. My producer, Tamara Henry, and I, we had an opportunity to walk through and see the inspiration of these guys. And <laughs> I can't even tell you the stories that they were telling me. And I'm like, they want to go back to the field. I mean, the similarities are amazing. These are the, the elite of the elite, they, and they bring inspiration to everybody. It's just, I can't even, I'm almost speechless. And, and Wade, there were a couple of hundred uh, of you at Walter Reed Army Medical Center last night. There's obviously thousands of wounded warriors across this country. What, what message would you give to some of those wounded warriors who are thinking, wow, you know, I've got a real tough life ahead of me. I've got a lot to come back from. I don't know if I can do it. I would just say, you know, don't let it get you down. Don't, don't let anybody get you down, you know? Just, uh... Just keep pushing like you usually would, you know, in the military. Just keep that confidence and just don't quit. Just keep going. Oh, well, Wade Christensen, we're glad that you're on the road to recovery, and thank you for your service. And Stephen Barber, thank you for this great film, and thanks for taking it to Walter Reed last night. That was a nice gesture. Thank you, sir. I enjoyed it very much. All Appreciate right. your time.